All right, y'all, um, we're back here today, and um, I'm, I have came across an interesting metal alloy I've never seen a video about on YouTube, and um, this is molten bismuth. I actually melted it down from one of the big chunks of bismuth, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add mercury to it. It's a bismuth mercury alloy. Well, bismuth is very melting. Uh, it melts pretty easily. You can melt it in almost hot water, and then mercury... Uh, melts way below zero so I mean it's a liquid at room temperature um, so I'm going to go ahead and add these two together and I'll show you the odd alloy that mercury bismuth makes okay hold on a second let me stir it up my handy dandy stir rod And now I'm going to take it off heating with my handy dandy of glove and set it on this to be cool. Alright, now this is like a metal alloy that is stuck in between temperatures. I'm not real sure about the uh, electrical resistance of it yet. I mean, that may be a possibility of it. Um, but it actually is like half solid, half liquid. Um, it actually is almost in chunks. It's kind of weird. Not real sticky, as you can see. I'm putting my, uh, putting it back down in here. I mean, it does have some stickiness to it, but it's not horrible. So this is something that if you have these two metals that you can, uh, indeed do it by yourself. All right, I'm going to, you want to catch this, Jared? I'm going to pour it out. There it is. As you can see, it's starting to solidify. And bam, okay. It is now, let me turn this hot plate off before I burn myself. All right, look at this. Look up in it. So you can see I'm tilting it. It is definitely a solid, but it's almost like you can start to scrape away at it and you get this sandy type of material. Um, it has to do with the uh, amount of mercury that you put in, but if you do put in quite a bit of mercury, you will get this uh, liquid metal alloy. Um, you can see you got this kind of metal sand right now. Now this only works if they're melted together. It does not work if they are. Um, you just put bismuth with mercury. Okay, and um, if you add a little bit more mercury, you'll notice that the mercury kind of attaches and detaches from it. You'll have a big puddle of mercury over here, but and then it'll go back into it. But you can just put this in a cool, dry place. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about uh, mercury toxicity with it because it's bonded to the bismuth. But tell me what y'all think about it and uh, what uses you think it could be used for. Um, it's the most non-toxic metal with one of the most toxic metals. Uh, so let me know what you think. Just uh, subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks. Bye.